Hey, on this episode, we're talking about allergy filters and are they worth the money? Why does my unit freeze? And can I add AC to my manufactured home? You ask your comfort and energy questions and they get answered. This is the Ask Derek Cole Show. Hey, it's Derek Cole. Welcome to episode 45 of the Ask Derek Cole Show, answering your home and energy questions. Oh my goodness, Labor Day weekend? That was fun. And we're back, so let's get right into the show. Are the allergy air furnace filters worth the extra money? Um... I know the answer to this question, but it really, I mean, I hate to say it, but it kind of depends on what you have at your house and what the situation is. Um, the better filter is helping, um, but you can go a little too far and get too good of a filter, and then you have an airflow problem, which will cause the unit to freeze um, and cause some of the issues. So it kind of depends on your situation. Uh, when our techs go out to the house, they, they can recommend what's better for you. Um, but I would, yes, you need a better filter than the 69 cent Home Depot see-through filter. I mean, if you can, if you can lay it on your table, take salt, pour it over it, and the salt gets through, that's not a good filter. That makes sense because you're trying, I mean, it, the big filter is stopping or, or the cheap filter is stopping things like sandwiches and chickens and any kind of furry pets from coming through, but it's not stopping the small particles that you need to be stopping. And that is 98% of your problem is the small ones, not the big ones. So that's what you need to be focused on. So the better filter is better for you, but you do have to walk a fine line of uh, restricting airflow and stopping the particles. Um, now, there are air cleaners on the market. They can handle both. We have them, uh, but uh, you just have to be careful about not, uh, I'll tell you a good sign. So when you put the filter in the return um, and the unit's running, if it starts to cave in a little bit and the corners cave in a little bit the filter is too much for that unit uh, it is too tight because now you're caving it in a little bit and the air is still going around the corners so i mean you defeat the purpose it's not it's not going into the filter anymore uh, it's going around the filter to get to where it's going so you know you should give a gentle little tug to get it out um, you shouldn't have that much force to get it out. Uh, so that's kind of a rule of thumb. I kind of hate rule of thumbs, but there you go. There's one of them. Uh, so if you have, I mean, if you have to like, you know, lean against the wall to get it out, that is a problem. Uh, but <laughs> if you have to just, just pull a little bit, you're good to go. Okay. So the answer is it kind of depends on your system. I really hate that kind of an answer, but it, de it depends on your duct system, it depends on your setup, it depends on all those factors into making sure you have the right filter. Um, but regardless of the filter, the most important thing you can do is change that on a regular basis. Um, if you go 30, 45 days and there's no dirt or anything on that filter, uh, that is an indication to know the air is bypassing that filter because it's not even dirty a little bit and it's getting to the unit and we have another problem. My manufactured home has gas heat and I'm wondering if installing air can use the same system or if it needs to be a completely different system. So good question. Uh, what usually happens on a mobile home is you have a gas furnace or electric furnace in the closet. You open a little closet and you're like, hey, there it is. So what you can do is actually add air condition to that with a coil and with an outdoor unit. Um, so you could use that existing furnace most likely and just add AC to it. Um, or you can do what we do a lot of which is add the AC to it but 
instead of an air conditioner outside, you have a heat pump outside. So now you're actually creating a dual fuel system. You have a heat pump outside and you have a gas furnace inside as your backup source. So instead of electricity, you're using gas as backup. So it's really the best of both worlds. So yes, you can add AC. I would go ahead and kick it up a little bit more and, and make it dual fuel. Is that be, is that mainly for here in the like in North Carolina where we're at, or is that in general? Because I know the person that asked that question lives in Wyoming. You don't see too many gas furnaces here. You see a lot of electric furnaces, um, but it should be the same in Wyoming. Okay. I was just curious. Uh, if it's the same kind of so manufacturer. You say, like, we use more heat pumps here than, like... Yeah, I mean, there, we run into a few of the gas furnaces in the mobile homes. It's just not... It's just kind of rare for this part of the area, country, state, um, to run into a gas furnace on a mobile home. Um, but it does happen. And when it does happen, we have, you know, converted those over to a dual fuel system, which saves you a ton of money uh, because they use whatever, if it's electricity or gas, depending on temperature outside, it switches between the two. So it's really efficient as to using the best source of heat for what the weather calls for. So if you have a 50 degree day in Wyoming, you will use heat pump heat. If you got a 20 Degree day in Wyoming, you probably use the gas. So it's going to use the best of both. Why does my unit freeze? Your unit freezes because you bought that expen <laughs> <laughs> expensive allergy filter, and now it can't breathe. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, that could be that could be one of the situations. You could have too good of a filter, and the air can't get back to the unit uh, if. Airflow is a challenge, it will freeze over because airflow is a challenge. Um, also, it will do it because of low refrigerant. Um, those are really the two big uh, reasons you have a freezing problem. Uh, if you're low in refrigerant, it will freeze. Airflow problem, it will freeze. Um, those are really the two main things. Could be a, you know some, some minor things inside of that, but those are really the two biggest things. We saw a lot of that in the summertime, a lot of freezing units, and it was because of stopped up coils, filters, and it was just lack of maintenance. Um, so again, it's important to do the maintenance uh, on the system and change your filter uh, because the service calls could have been prevented uh, with that happening. That's it. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, episode 45, um, done. So, uh, yeah, appreciate all the sharing. Man, Facebook has been lighting up with people, tagging other people on the little posts and sharing. Really appreciate that. So keep it going, and uh, we will see you next time.